hello friends welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you're new here my name is maddie and today we're making donuts I'm very excited for this i made all the fillings last night so that today would be a much smoother easier more relaxing process which i would definitely recommend if you guys are going to do this we're going to get started with this and i'm going to first show you how i made the dough for the donuts and then i'll pop in the footage of me making fillings and then we'll shape the donuts and fry them and fill them and that's that we're going to start out by making our dough take one cup or 250 grams of warm whole milk add one packet of active dry yeast and two tablespoons of sugar Mix this together and allow it to bloom for 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, take three and three fourths cup or 565 grams of all purpose flour, add two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Set that to mix on low. You're going to add two large eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And then you're going to add your foamy yeast milk mixture. Mix that on low for 10 minutes until well combined. It's gonna look like it's not coming together at first, but I promise it will. After 10 minutes, reduce your speed to low and slowly add in your softened unsalted butter. It's gonna be six tablespoons or 90 grams. I'm adding it one tablespoon at a time. After that, increase your mixer speed to medium and let it mix for an additional five minutes. You should be left with a super stretchy dough. You're going to grease a bowl and add your dough, cover it and let rest for two hours or until it's doubled in size. Meanwhile, we're gonna get started on our fillings. First up is a homemade strawberry jam. You're going to take two pounds of strawberries and dice them up. Doesn't have to be too small or uniform. Add two cups of sugar, along with the zest and juice of one lemon. You're going to cover this and let it macerate for an hour. Once it's done macerating, you're going to add it to a pot. I decided to also add a little bundle of thyme, and you're just gonna cook that on a medium low heat. It's gonna bubble. I also chose to mash it up with a potato masher, so I got a smoother jam, and you're just gonna continuously cook and stir it until you get this beautiful jam. Next up, we're gonna make a chocolate pudding. So I'm taking three cups of whole milk. You can do this with an alternative milk as well. To that, add six tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of cocoa powder. You really should sift this in, but I forgot to do that. Add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and four tablespoons of cornstarch. Like I said, it would be great to sift this, I forgot. And then add one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Whisk that together and then again, you're gonna take that over to the stove onto a medium heat and just continuously stir it. And it's gonna start to thicken up. To that, add seven ounces of dark chocolate and two tablespoons of butter and whisk until everything is melted and combined. It just magically thickens up. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it's going to, but it will. And then I put it through a strainer, so I made sure that any clumps were gone. And literally that's it. It's so simple. All right, back to the dough. This is what it looks like after two hours of resting. I just punched the gas out and we're going to flour our work surface and roll this out to be about a half an inch thick and then you're going to cut out your donuts. You're going to place these on a parchment lined baking sheet, cover them and let them proof for one hour. You can see these have definitely doubled in size. Over here I have my heavy bottom Dutch oven filled with a neutral oil along with my thermometer so I can make sure that the temperature of the oil is correct because 
It's so very important when making donuts. And then I have a little landing station here where I can put my donuts after they're done frying. Now we're just waiting for the oil to come up to temperature. I've got my donuts. This is powdered sugar. I have cinnamon sugar over there for the chocolate and vanilla. And then I'm gonna do the strawberry jam ones in powdered sugar. Now it's time to fry our donuts. Make sure you keep an eye on your oil temperature. That's one donut fried. Looks pretty good. I started out frying one at a time and then ended up doing two at a time. It's really important that you don't overcrowd your pot because that's how you could end up with some oil spilling and that would be really bad because you could start a grease fire. If you're going to coat your donuts, I suggest doing it while they're still warm so everything sticks. I mean, look at these babies. All right, now it's time to fill. I'm taking a small paring knife and making an incision in the middle of the donut and just wiggling it around so I make space for the filling. I put my pudding in a piping bag with a pointed tip and just shoved it in there and stuffed it. <laughs> You'll know there's enough filling because it'll start to push the piping bag out. I also suggest keeping your fillings in the fridge until you're ready to fill them because my jam got a little bit runny, but it was fine. We made it work. And these are the completed donuts. Don't they look incredible? This was definitely the most successful filling wise. I think the texture of the pudding was perfect. The pudding is so good. The flavor of all the donuts was really great. I think execution lacked a little bit in the filling department, but that's okay. Obviously, the donuts taste good because they're donuts. It's fried dough and yummy fillings, even though it was a little bit messy and some of the filling did spill out of some of the donuts. I say it was still a success.